Welcome back. Welcome back. It is me, Britt Reacts. And today we are reacting to Matt Foley, Van Down by the River. This is an SNL skit featuring Chris Farley. Let's see what he has to say. Mom, Dad. Brian, Stacy. Your mother, Ellen, and I are so glad you decided to join us for this family communication session. <laughs> So what's family up? talk. You guys getting divorced or something? Is that Christine Applegate? No, we just wanted the family to talk as a group. Okay, Was she well, on let's SNL? Get it started then. Like as a cast member? All right. Well, Stacy, Brian, your father Ted and I are a little bit concerned. Celia, the cleaning lady, was in the family room and she found a bag of pot. Why would she say your father Ted and I as if that's not their father and they don't know his first name? Um, that's, uh, isn't, isn't that Christina Applegate? Which I was asking if you didn't hear me, uh, was she a member of SNL? Is she just like someone who was a guest on the show? Um, I know recently I saw a clip on YouTube shorts of, uh, I think the Emmy awards where everyone gave her a standing ovation. Cause I know she's battling, um, a pretty tough, 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 tough. Um, disease in, in, in MS and I think hers is, is, is pretty advanced um, so God bless her she, she is like definitely one of the it girls from my growing up like all the movies and shows like I just like cause she was on um, loving marriage loving with uh, Ted Bundy is it Ted Bundy? no Ted Bundy the serial Triller or y'all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, I have gotten so far off topic. Back to y'all. The cleaning lady was in the family room and she found a bag of pot. A bag. She didn't smoke it, did she? Oh. <laughs> no, she didn't smoke it. Now we're not fair, fair here question. to come down on you. I mean, that's not what we're about, okay? We're just concerned that pot could lead to other things. Crack, ice, boom, pow. But we know you don't want to hear this from us. Sure, I mean, we're your parents. Who wants to hear this stuff from their parents, eh? But your father and I came What's up happening? with a brilliant idea to give you kids some direction. A motivational speaker. Yeah, one of those guys who speaks to big groups at high schools and churches. <laughs> this should you need be good. to come to the house. Right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah right. all right, later. Thanks, anyway. Hey, 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 come on, you guys. This set me back a few bucks. Okay, his name is Matt Foley. Now, he's been down in the basement drinking coffee for about the last four hours, and he should won't, be all ready to end go. Well. I'll, I'll call him up. Will not end well. Not gonna happen. Matt, we're ready for you. His speech is called Go For It. Now, he's used to big groups, so make him feel like there's a crowd here. Matt, come on, <laughs> Make him feel like there's a crowd here. It's crazy. All right. How's everybody? Good, good. I love that they framed this by giving us the like precursor of him being jacked up off of coffee. But imagine not knowing that information. Just in this stance that he's got going on right here. If I didn't know he was jacked up on coffee, I think he would have maybe had the boom bing pow uh, downstairs in the basement for four hours. <laughs> uh, also sidebar, but not really a sidebar because it's relevant. I love this pop of green in the tie. It's like a fashion moment, Mr. Farley. All right, let's see what he has to say. Good, good. Good, good. Why is he st the stance? Well, as your father probably told you, my name is Matt Foley, and I am a motivational speaker. <laughs> I love he's like holding now his hands like a motivational speaker. Let's get started by letting me give you a little bit of a scenario. Why is he of what crouching? What life is all about. First off, I am 35 years old. He sounds I sad. Am divorced, <laughs> and I live in a van down by the river. <laughs> now you like his voice is all quivery. He sounds really sad. Um, why is he in this like bent over position the whole time? Like what? Is Some of you uh, watched my last reaction with Chris Farley and it was the like uh, babysitting grandma with Adam Sandler. And I think we all 
not all, some of us agreed that it wasn't like the funniest skit. Like for me, it got very like violent and dark. And a lot of you were like, you need to watch this one. This is this one is funny. And already I feel a sense of relief because it is actually quite funny already. And we're only a quarter of the way in. Hey, the river. The river. Now you kids are probably saying to yourselves, hey, I'm going to go out and I'm going to get the world by the tail and wrap it around and pull it down and put it in my pocket. Well, I'm here to tell you that you're probably going to find out as you go out there. He's going to cry. That you're not going to amount to jack oh. squat. <laughs> oh, my God. You're going to end up eating a steady diet of government cheese and living in a van down by the river. river. <laughs> now, young man, what do you want to do with your life? Uh, actually, Matt, I kind of want to be a writer. Well, bloody <laughs> frickin' <duh. laughs> Well, this is probably the first time I feel like I'm watching and forgetting that this is, this is Chris Farley. Like, he feels very much of this character, Matt Foley. Um, part of it is that he, like, his hair is slicked back. He's got the glasses on, so he doesn't have his hair that I'm used to. Like, he's, like, shaking. Um, but it feels like... I have to keep reminding myself that that this is Chris. This is funny. Well, well he also God. doesn't sound like himself. We got ourselves a writer here. Hey, Dad. Why I can't is see he real crunching? good. Is that Bill Shakespeare over there? Huh? Well, actually, Matt, uh, Ellen and I have encouraged Brian in his writing. Dad, I wish you could just shut your big yapper. <laughs> Now, I wonder. The Brian, pants are not going anywhere. They're belted, from sir. From what I've heard, you're using your paper not for writing, but for rolling doobies. <laughs> you're going to be doing a lot of doobie Look at them trying to hold it in. When you're living in a van down by the, the river. river. <laughs> Young lady, what do you want to do with your life? I want to live in a van down, down by, by the, the river. river. <laughs> well, she is me. I'm that like cheeky and petty. I'm like, I, don't, I want to do exactly what you're doing, sir. I want to be you when I grow up. I want to live in a van down by the river. Well, you'll have plenty of time to live in a van down by the river when you're living in a van <laughs> down by the river. Now, you kids are probably asking yourselves, hey, Matt, how can we get back on the right track? Well, as I For a man of his physique, he is so, like, agile. Like, he really can move. It's impressive. <laughs> He's got so much physicality as a part of his, like, comedy. Um it's 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 really wildly impressive if you ask me <laughs> well as i see it there is only one solution and that is for me to get my gear move it on in here because i'm gonna bunk with you buddy we're gonna be buddies we're gonna be pals we're gonna wrestle around so he's looking for a place to live oh matt's gonna be your shadow Here's you, here's Matt, there's you, there. <laughs> Whoops a daisy. Whoops a daisy. I did not see oh, that God. coming. I did not see that coming. There was no the way I saw that coming. Clean it up later. My buddies, my pals, my amigos. I'm gonna get my gear. Wait, yeah, Matt, you don't have to go. No, Matt, you don't have Matt. To do that. We'll never smoke pot again. Uh, Matt, uh, thanks for all you've done. I don't give a rat's behind because I'm moving in. I'm sick and tired of living Putting in a the van, van by down, by, down the by, the, by, the, by the bay. <laughs> Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. Is the back door locked? Yes. We love you, Dad. I love you, too. So he's a scam artist. This is how he, he gets housing for a week. Like, what is going on? No, that was great. That one was funny. I was not expecting the table flop. Like, it scared me. It 
genuinely made me like jump. <laughs> jump scare. All right. We have some redemption. This one was not scary or uh, just like super aggressive. This one was actually very funny. Uh, keep giving me suggestions in the comments and go and have the day that you deserve. Bye.